So today I'm going to be cleaning out my spice drawer seasonings and all that stuff. Now I showed you guys, I have two. I have this big one over here. Hold on, let me show you. I have that one that holds all of the bigger spices like that I buy in bulk. So yeah, that is the one that I usually refill the ones in this cabinet with. So we're gonna show you what this cabinet looks like. So hold on. So here we have the other cabinet. Now, here's my problem. That top left corner, right there, these two items here, I wanna get rid of those. I don't like the way they look and I don't use them every day. So I figured if I can get some containers that were closed and I can probably stack above um, each other, it will look much better than the way it looks right there. So I went out to Target and I found some containers, which I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go through all of these Lazy Susans here to make sure everything on there is not expired and it's things that I use. That's something you should do in your home regularly, at least a month, every month when it comes to seasonings and canned goods. Then I'm gonna go, now this is another Lazy Susan. So I have one, two, three. I got these off of, I wanna say Amazon. Um, and they were really inexpensive and I love them because I can actually see all my spices with them. So a Lazy Susan is a good idea. There's also DIYs to do Lazy Susans for Dollar Tree. So I'm going to come close and show you the messiness in here and why I'm taking everything out of here and going to make it empty and start all over to make it more organized and minimize some of the stuff that's in here. So let's go. Now we're going to get close and personal. Do you guys see this? And this can happen anytime because a lot of times you're cooking and you're grabbing them and you're putting them back real fast. So you might have something on your hand and you're not really um, paying attention and this is what happens. And we don't want any creepy crawlies or any bugs or anything. So I am going to be taking everything out of here and cleaning them. Some of the bottles need to be wiped down some of the um seasoned spices caps like they won't shut oh it shuts but still it's like clogged stuff around it so yeah and then we have some bottles like that so i want to clean all the bottles even the syrup bottle y'all see that disgusting so yeah and then up on this level it needs to be wiped down just stuff that i haven't been paying attention to and neglecting so we're going to get all that out of there but first we're going to start off by cleaning everything out and getting it all down here so this is the other container my these are also my baked good things this is a Dollar Tree container and I don't like it because it doesn't stay closed really well and I want to transfer these to something better I found these so I'm going to use this bottom one here for these type of items and then the top one I'm going to use for both of these so I'm hoping I can get both of these into this top one so I just want to share with you guys so I got all these trays from Ikea laid out because not only am I going to bring this stuff out and put it on the counter if I don't have enough space I'm going to put it here and I'll put these down so nothing can fall in through the stove grate so let me get everything out and then we shall go from there wouldn't it be great if this was really how we could move oh it would be so awesome life would be so simple if you can do things in Split seconds. Here is everything. There is everything. So, even these Lazy Susans need to be cleaned as well. I looked at this one here. Look at that. Nasty. So, I'm going to take the stuff off of those and get to eliminating so the only thing that I'm using to clean these containers and racks and lazy Susans whatever you want to call them is Dawn dish liquid and warm water talk about how I'm in love with these things three dollars for the size you can't beat it they're clear you can see all your items and they are stackable not to mention the fact that they have lids that actually lock 
Unlike those cheesy totes from Walmart, and Target has them too, if I'm not mistaken, the lower end totes that people use for their winter and summer clothes, and the tops always fall off and they never lock like they're supposed to, yes, so irritating. These don't do that. This particular size was $2, and if I didn't say it already, the size before this one was 3 I'm definitely going to go back to Target to grab some more to put them in different areas of my home for storage because I love the look of them. So guys, go grab you some definitely these are a thumbs up and a hot tin to take the tops off of these and wipe these bottles down and clean the tops out not all of them need to be really clean like that but they just need a good wipe down so that's what i'm getting ready to do um as you can see see it's a couple of them the bottles are just disgusting so they do need a wipe down but they're not too bad i just was irritated by all of the crumbs inside there so Let's get these cleaned off and then we'll put them back inside the cabinet. Shiny. See the difference? Just cloudy. Well, this might stay cloudy because it's got like a more of a powder substance, but the top needs to clean. Get a good clean. Not clean the top of this one. So let me clean them all and put them back. Took this out of here because I wanted to keep the flow of the containers the same but I actually like this so I'm gonna keep this for something just don't know what at the moment so yeah. these are all the containers that I combined with my other containers this is the only thing I think that I found that was um outdated and this right here as well no I don't think this is outdated I don't even think this is yeah this was outdated I believe as well um, I had some turmeric, so I just put those in my container so that everything can look uniform. So I just put that in the turmeric um, thing here. And come to find out I had another turmeric. <laughs> so that's why it's good to do this too, so you can get an inventory of what you have and don't rebuy. Because I literally just rebought this for four bucks and I already had this. So whatever. But they both actually fit in my container, which was perfect. I had three curries, did not know it. I had this one here, so I took that curry and put it inside here, and then I also had this huge one right here. Um, yeah, so I had this big one in, and that small one, and this medium-sized one. So I'm glad that I went through and did this. So these containers, I'm gonna keep this one. I can use that for something else. These containers are gonna get recycled. I'm gonna pour this stuff out, recycle those. All of these will be recycled and this is the way that I get my seasons from the big containers to the little containers when I need to refill them so let's check out how it looks now all right guys here is the final results nice and clean nice and clean everything has been wiped down and unfortunately I couldn't get the other one on top the thing wasn't close so I'm gonna put it back where it normally goes but yep everything is nice and clean and I freed up space and so here are all of my spices that I usually use every time I cook and then these are the ones that I all of these are the ones I usually use but these are my to go to always use okay and then here I have dry ingredients like my spices from my garden that I dried out and other spices that I may not use on a regular basis like nutmeg, all spices and stuff. Stuff that I use for baking and my saison and cinnamon sticks and all that stuff are there. And then over here I have bigger containers that are smaller than my big, big ones that I refill um, stuff with. Um, and then I have my bouillon cubes. I need to get some more chicken. Um my uh, cumin, cumin, however you want to say it, minced onions, cayenne pepper, bold chipotle, just other spices that I randomly use as well are there. And in between, I put the ones that I refill that I already got down here, up there, so that's what's there. Then up here is like my liquids that I use, my liquid smoke, my hot sauce, um, which... Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire, however you want to pronounce it, steak sauce, and some more go um, Goya seasoning, honey, my sprays for my pans, and um, that's basically it. So that is my spice.
cabinet and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it was motivational for you inspirational for you to clean out your spice cabinets and to get it organized um I just wanted to get some of the stuff that was just randomly sitting here that I wasn't using and some of the stuff that was outdated and to kind of clean it up a little better so that's what it looked like I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video make sure you thumbs up make sure if you are new to my channel go check out my other organization videos I have a list of purge to clutter and organization um, videos a playlist full of them from when I first came in here you will see how this cabinets has transitioned because it's gonna change over time when you're doing stuff like this because you're gonna end up working with different things until you get the perfect containers and it may change again who knows but this is what it looks like now and I just wanted to share that with you guys because I was not happy with it and now I feel a little better opening this cabinet especially not having all those seasonings spilt so like I said if you are new make sure you subscribe it costs you nothing to subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll be notified when I load videos and make sure you always thumbs up the video because that helps to get my channel out there so more people can see the things that I share as far as budgeting tips deal alerts and all the things that I share on my channel so I will talk to you guys later Gator see you in the next video this is where I am on social media. Be sure to check me out, but also go check out my other channel, The CPR Vibe. Link is in the description box where we talk about all things reviving our lives. There are many playlists and how-tos on this channel that can help you save your coins. You can also see my renovation journey. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you are alerted of all the new videos. Later, Gators.